in this video i am going to start fourth module we have already completed up to third module so e video le start cheyan povunathu fourth module aanu first of all fourth module le important topics edakkeyanu discuss cheyyan so fourth module le first topic nu parayunnathu accuracy and precision aanu what is the difference between or concept of accuracy and precision so adil four cases are allathu precise but not accurate that's the case one case two nu parayunnathu accurate but not precise case three precise and accurate and case four not precise not accurate then second topic nu parayunnathu types of errors three classification of errors are allathu gross error systematic error and random error okay then third one standard of measurement in which you have to study line standard end standard and wavelength standards then fourth one fits and tolerance so normal culture of fits and tolerance types of fits and shaft based system hole based system and problem related to limit fit tolerance then fifth one interchangeability and selective assembly concept of interchangeability and selective assembly and sixth one gauges so in which you have to study purpose of gauges classification of gauges taylor's principle of gauges gauge tolerance and gauge material allocation of gauge tolerance അപ്പോൾ ഇത്രയാണ് ഫിഫ്ത്തും ഫോർത്ത് മൊഡ്യൂളിൽ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് പഠിക്കാനുള്ളത് ഓക്കെ സോ ഈ മൊഡ്യൂളിൽ ഈ ഒരു വീഡിയോയിൽ ഞാൻ ഡിസ്കസ് ചെയ്യാൻ പോകുന്നത് ആക്രോസി ആൻഡ് പ്രീഷൻ ആൻഡ് ടൈപ്സ് ഓഫ് എറേഴ്സ് ആണ് ഓക്കെ സോ മെട്രോളജി മെട്രോളജി മീൻസ് മെട്രോളജി ഇൻ വിച്ച് മെട്രോ മീൻസ് മെഷർ ആൻഡ് ലോഗി മീൻസ് സയൻസ് സോ മെട്രോളജി എന്ന് പറയുന്ന വേർഡിൽ മെട്രോ എന്ന് വെച്ച് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ മെഷർമെൻസും അതേപോലെ തന്നെ ലോഗി എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് സയൻസും ആണ് സോ മെട്രോളജി എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് സയൻസ് ഓഫ് മെഷർമെൻ്റ് ആണ് ഓക്കെ സോ ഇൻ മെട്രോളജി മെട്രോ മീൻസ് മെഷർമെൻറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ലോഗി മീൻസ് സയൻസ് സോ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ടോൺ എസ് മെട്രോളജി സോ മെട്രോളജി ഈസ് ഡിഫൈൻഡ് എസ് സയൻസ് ഓഫ് മെഷർമെൻറ്റ് the ultimate aim of metrology is maintaining a quality during manufacturing process see in various engineering field metrology will be used so first concept in module 4 is accuracy and precision okay see both accuracy and precision associated with measuring process so accuracy means closeness of measurement to the true value and precision indicate repeatability of measurement but accuracy in which you are closeness to the true value so every machining operation there is a true value and a measured value true value means value or dimension as per drawing it is also known as basic size so true value means it have tolerance included then measured value means after the machining operation we are measuring the dimension by using any measuring instruments vernier caliper or micrometer and that value is known as measured value so accuracy means closeness of measurement to true value the measured value will be how much close to true value that is known as accuracy and precision that indicating repeatability of the measurement so repeatability of measurement means repeatability of the value during measuring a particular dimension okay for an example if the true value is 25 mm measured value is 25.001 mm the measured value is very close to true value then it is accurate 
so how much the measured value is close to true value that is known as accuracy and repeatability indicating the instrument capacity to repeat the same measurement or reproduce the same measurement for an example if the measuring instrument gives the reading 25.5 mm then second reading 25.51 mm third reading 25.54 mm and fourth one 25.53 mm see all the readings are almost repeating or reproducing so the instrument is precise so that's the difference between accuracy and precision so accuracy means how much the true value will be closest to the measured how much the measured value will be closest to true value and precision that indicating repeatability or reproducibility of the measuring instrument okay so in accuracy and precision we have four cases first one precise but not accurate precise are pashe accurate alla see you can see here four measured values so the true value is 25 mm measured value is 25.85 25.8 25.7 and 25.75 but true value nu parana 25 measured value naal measured value nu parayunnathu 25.85 25.8 25.7 and 25.75 so the average of measured value nu parayunnathu 25.76 which is not close to true value but all the readings are very close to each other it will be 25.8 7 something like this stuff so all the measured values are close to each other but the average of measured value is not close to true value so the it is precise condition but not accurate condition why it is precise is all the measured values are close to each other why it is not accurate is average of measured value is not close to true value the measured values ake valare aduthana pashe average of measured value ennu parayadhu true value nu valare aduthalla then it is not accurate but precise okay so rendavathu condition aanu accurate but not precise see here 25 is the true value and the measured values are 25.8 25.5 25.1 and 24.5 so this average of measured value is 25.23 and this average of measured value that is close to true value the error will be 0.23 the error means the difference between measured value and true value is considered as the error so 0.23 is the error so the measured value average of measured value that is very close to true value so this measurement is accurate but the it is not precise why it is not precise is the measured values are not close to each other ay naal measured values are ullathu ee naal measured values um close alla that's why it is not precise but accurate case 3 precise and accurate see here also the true value is 25 mm and the measured values are 25.3 25.2 25.1 49.9 nah, 29.9 24.9 sorry 24.9 so the average of measured value is 25.15 mm and this average of measured value is very close to true value the error is 0.15 mm so it is accurate and also it is precise because all the measurements are very close to each other so this measurement is precise and accurate okay and the last condition is not precise and not accurate here you can see that the true value is 25 mm and the measured values are not close very far 25.5 25.9 and 25.7 and 25.2 so the average of measured value 
that is also very far from the true value. So this measurement is not precise and not accurate. So these are the four conditions related to accuracy and precision. So first one, measurement that is precise but not accurate. Second one, accurate but not precise. Third one, precise and accurate. And fourth one, not precise and not accurate. Upper precision, accuracy in the varina condition, condition, null conditions are concept in null conditions are okay. So, random the topic on error in measurements. So, how will you define a error in methodology? See, error in measurement is defined as the difference between measured value and true value. Measured value, true value, the mirror difference ni aana, error in measurement in the varin. See, in this figure, the true value is 50 mm and the measured value is 15.03 or 15.05. So, the difference between the measured value and the true value is known as error in measurement. But measurement le error in which way measured value, true value, the mirror difference aana. CS2 one, types of errors. There are three classification of errors. First one, gross error. Second one, systematic error. And third one, random error. Error ni moon classification sign. First one in the bar the gross error. Random the systematic error. Moonam the random error. So gross error. See, gross errors are due to mistake in handling the equipment which is used for measurement or mistake due to recording data. The gross error is the main reason. If there is a mistake in handling the equipment which is used in the measurement process, that may be a vernier caliper or a micrometer, etc. Or mistake due to recording data while measurement. See, gross error are caused by Mistake in using instruments and calculating measurement and recording data receipts. For example, an operator or a person read the pressure reading as 1.10 Newton per meter square instead of 1.01 Newton per meter square. The gross error is the mistake in handling measuring instrument or reading data. That's the main reason for gross error. For example, the operator pressure reading is 1.01 Newton per meter square. Then that is a gross error. And that will always reflect at the end of the result also while calculating. So this may be the reason for gross error. In the reported data, such error may end up in calculation of the final result, thus producing deviated result. So, this is gross error. But gross error is the main reason the mistake in handling the equipment which is used for measurement process, mistaking reading or recording data. Systematic error. See, systematic error that occurred due to fault in measuring device. Measuring device in the fault to go down the error in the systematic error in the variable. See, the error can be reduced by correcting the measuring device. And this systematic error are classified into mainly three types. We can avoid the theoretical error. There are three classification of systematic errors. That is instrumental error, environmental error, and observational error. So, instrumental error. See, instrumental error occur due to raw, wrong working of measuring instruments. Measuring instruments in the wrong working on down, instrumental error on down. That means improper working of instrument, not calibrated, etc. These errors may be occur due to hysteresis or friction. In order to reduce the instrumental error, 
we are using some correction factor for recalibrating the instrument carefully okay so instrumental error that is a main reason for instrumental error is improper working of instrument not calibrating and we can reduce this error by using some correction factors or recalibrating the instrument and second one is environmental error see environmental error occur due to some external condition of the instruments external conditions kondu measuring instruments il undavana error niyana environmental error ennu vilikkum so external condition mainly include pressure temperature humidity or due to magnetic field vibration electric field etc to reduce the environmental errors try to maintain the humidity and temperature constant in the laboratory by making some arrangement so environmental factors reduce cheya maintain highly precise side like instruments okay humidity yum adey pole the temperature ka control cheyda environment laana work cheyunu okay then third one is the observational errors see these errors are due to mistake in observations or reading in instruments so parallax sir that is an example for observational error see while taking a reading line of vision of observer should be exactly indexing meeting the indexing line see this is a block which is 50 mm uh, length and we are measuring using a scale so there are three conditions for looking the measurement while taking reading so here the first second condition is the exact correct condition here the line of vision of the observer that is meeting the indexing line in first condition the line of vision of the observer meeting the indexing line where reading is 49 in third condition the line of vision of the observer that is meeting the indexing line it is 51 measurements so this is a parallax sum okay so in order to reduce the parallax error highly accurate meters are needed meters are provided with mirror scale or we are using analog or digital meters for measurement the last one is the random errors see these errors are due to non causes and they occur even when all systematic errors have been accounted all systematic errors um അക്കൗണ്ട് ചെയ്തതിന് ശേഷം ബാക്കി വരുന്ന എറേഴ്സുകളാണ് റാൻഡം എറർ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഡ്യൂ ടു ഫ്രിക്ഷൻ ഫ്രിക്ഷൻ ഓർ ഫ്ലക്ച്വേഷൻ ജഡ്ജ്മെൻറ്റ് പ്ലേൻ ഇൻസ്ട്രുമെൻറ്റ് ഇന്നബിലിറ്റി ഓഫ് ഓപ്പറേറ്റർ ടു മെഷർ റീഡിങ് സോ ദീസ് ആർ ഓർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ ഫോർ റാൻഡം എറേഴ്സ് സോ ദീസ് ആർ കോസ്ഡ് ബൈ എനി ഫാക്ടർ ദാറ്റ് റാൻഡംലി എഫക്റ്റഡ് ദ മെഷർമെൻറ്റ് ഓഫ് ദ വേരിയബിൾ അക്രോസ് ദി സാമ്പിൾ so what is the meaning of random error is means see this error will be randomly occurring in the measurement okay systematic error means that have a fixed magnitude that will be increasing or decreasing it has a fixed magnitude but in random error that will be randomly occurring okay we cannot predict that error systematic error the person can be predict the systematic error random error cannot be predicted so these are the classification of errors pre video discuss cheyad accuracy and precision ennu parana concept um adhe pole thana types of errors um aanu so idu fourth module inde note aanu complete note undu google drive il attach cheyidunde ningal print eduthittu padikka okay thank you